Hi everyone, tonight I'm making yummy steaks. So I have these steak strips. I'm going to place them on my cutting board because I wanna, I wash them before I cook it. So I wanna pat them dry. That should be good. And then in a small bowl, we will add some oil. Make sure you don't make the mistake of using olive oil because it burns at high temperatures. This is the oil that would go um, on a grilling pan or frying pan when you're doing the steaks. Just gonna add some black pepper and some paprika and you can put as much or as little spices as you like depending on how much uh, and how spicy you like your food some garlic powder this is for all the steaks so just keep that in mind that make sure you have enough spices that all the steaks are covered and the Montreal steak seasoning and I, I don't add salt in today's because especially this steak seasoning is very, very salty. So when I add this, I don't add anything else. No salt. I'm gonna whisk it together. So all the spices get mixed up. And then I'm going to place our steaks in a ziplock bag which i have right there because we need them to marinate and this is honestly the easiest and uh, least messy way to do it so now that all my steaks are in the ziplock i'm going to pour our spices on it it's just not easy to do with one hand. Okay. I'm going to close this a block. Make sure it's closed tight so your things don't escape. And then you're just going to shake it up in there. Make sure that all the steaks are covered in this. Give it a good rub because the meat does fold and you want to make sure it's spread evenly. And I'm going to place it in a fridge for, well, the longer you marinate it, it's kind of better. But when I'm in a rush, I just put it in even for like half an hour in a fridge or an hour. Uh, so I'm going to put it probably for an hour or two into the fridge and then take it out half an hour before you want to grill it or fry it because um, when it's cold, it doesn't fry good and it just shoots everywhere because it's cold temperature on a very hot oil. So make sure you take it out half an hour before you want to grill. Okay, so I took out our steak half an hour before I'm going to grill it. And I have this grilling pan, which is very, very hot now. If you don't have that, just use regular frying pan. And it really has to be hot. And the reason you take out the steak, so the temperatures of the steak and the fry pan are not so different. So it should be room temperature. And my Ziploc had a leak, so I had to take it out and change it. And I add it with no oil because it already has oil in it and because it leaked i'm going to add a little bit more of the steak recipe steak spice on it and depending on how you like it cooked these are pretty thin and i like them well done so i cook them three to four minutes on each side and then flip them over Okay, it's been about three to four minutes. 
and I'm going to flip it over because these are now stuffed in. Look at that. It looks delicious. If you like it cooked differently, uh, not um, uh, well done, then you will cook it a little bit uh, shorter. Less time. And that's it. That's our steak. A little bit of barbecue sauce on the side when it's done, or steak sauce. And that's our yummy dinner. Thank <laughs> you.